Welcome to Digging with Deb, lucky episode 13. I have so much to go over with you. I'll try to keep it coordinated and um, make sense. First thing is, I'm having, I'm giving you this episode during the winter because winter is planning time, and we've talked about that before. But I'm really giving it. This is January, January. Now, the reason I'm doing it so early is because I'm going to start some of my own transplant seeds in the house. And in order to do that, you got to get a really early start. The very first thing is you have to know what your planting zone is so you know when to plant in the house. You know when your last, fr your first frost excuse me, your last frost is. And you need to plant your seeds indoors before then. So, look up your state where you live and find out what your zone is. Just so happens, I am zone 6. 6A to be exact. So, I look up information about Zone 6, and I found Zone 6 Vegetable Garden, when to plant. I didn't come up with this. I found it. So, um, I found it. I printed it off several copies so I don't lose it. Make sure I have it. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Then, as usual, I planned my garden for next summer. Planted a few things that I didn't ever have before. I've never had okra. I've never had celery. going to try both of those. Both of those need to be started in the house. I need to know when to start them. So... That's why you plan ahead, and you plan ahead, and you get ready to go. So, I've got that. Then, I got my seeds. I have cucumbers. I have apple seeds that I want to plant from my, plant, my um, ancient tree. I've got summer squash, lettuce sweet peppers, hot peppers, sweet banana peppers, broccoli, gonna try some watermelon. We'll see, in Ohio, we'll see. Here's some lettuce, some more lettuce. Here's my celery, celery. And I have some cabbage that I'm gonna start in the house. And, heirloom tomatoes, all different kinds of heirloom tomatoes. All of these are going to be planted indoors. You got to know when to do it. So if you were guessing which one do you think would be the first one to plant in the house? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it turns out, there it is, turns out that Celery needs to be planted in the house, in our area, my area, January 15th. That's a week. One week from today. And then when I have, you got a plan for that. So, I got my celery. But I need something to plant it in. So I got... Some growing po um, pods. See? Now they have um, they have basil, but this can be any of them. I have 32 of those. So I think that'll be enough. The next thing is you need some dirt not just any dirt. You're not even gonna get 
potting soil. You're going to get seed starting soil. You need something to plant the seeds in. You need some dirt to plant the seeds in. And the last thing is you need a grow light or a very, 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 very sunny area in your house. One that's facing south, getting sun all day long, strong sun. Otherwise, your seedlings are going to be long, leggy. And they're not going to handle it well. You won't be ahead anything. So I am gr using a grow light. I can put that anywhere I want to. I'm going to put mine in my basement. And I'm going to use that to, to start my celery. Now, one of the reasons I'm starting um, my plants in the house is I'm going to get, well, there's two reasons. I'm going to get the exact variety that I want. If I want to plant a particular kind of tomato, all I have to do is get the seeds. Seeds are easier to get at the store than plants are. So I'm going to get the seeds, exact ones that I want. Then I'm going to get the exact number that I want. I don't want six celeries. I'm trying it out. I'm testing the water, so to speak. I'm going to plant some in the spring, maybe some for a little bit later in the, in the fall. But I don't need six. I need two, three. So when I'm planting my own starts, I can plant however many I want. And I can plant them exactly at the right time. So I'm going to plant celery a week from today, and I only need two. I'm going to plant three in case one doesn't come up. Now that brings me to, to the next thing. Keep good records. Jen, Jen Bowersox, I'm talking to you, girl. I came up with a list, uh, um, a spreadsheet, that I'm going to write down. What is the plant variety? When did I put it in this in the under the grow light? When did it germinate? And then the last one is when did I put it outside? Now I'm going to plant mine pretty close to when it says. I'm going to plant mine on January 15th, the celery. I don't know when it's going to germinate, but I can plant it outside April 15th. Now that's before the last frost of the season but celery can handle just a little bit of cold. Now, I'm gonna be planting a lot of other stuff outside way before then, as you know. So, I'm going to keep track of all of this information and then any notes. Um, I didn't have very good germination. Um, it got leggy really fast. Whatever it happens to be, I'm gonna keep track of it. And I planted, I. I printed off several of those sheets of paper. Now, reminder, what all do you need? Right now, you need to plan your garden. You need to get your seeds. Make a decision on what varieties that you want. You need to buy your planting um, media seed planting soil and you need something to put the seed planting soil in and for me I need a grow light you need all of that before you even begin to do plant plants seeds for planting I'm going to do that and then I'm going to um, hopefully, in a, every so often, every week or so, following my guide, I'm going to plant uh, the plants that I need. So, in February, February 15th, one month later, easy to remember, I am going to plant my spinach, some cabbage, um, some lettuce, 
Um, I'm going to plant eggplant. I don't have eggplant. I need to buy, get some. My peppers. All of those are going to be planted in February. February 15th. Now, they're not going to be outside, but they're going to be inside, hopefully growing. We'll see how it works. I have never done this before. I am so looking forward to it. And I want to get to see if it'll work. Now, I'm also going to double plant certain areas of my garden. So I got same place that I got this from when to plant for late summer or fall crops. So if I want to plant celery in the for the fall, guess when I'm going to plant it in my house? May 15th. May 15th. May. Then I put it outside in August. And then I might get the harvest in October. We'll see. If I want to plant Brussels sprouts and cabbage and cauliflower and broccoli for the fall, I'm going to plant them right around July 4th. Then I put them out in August. It's so easy to do when you have your own stuff right here right handy and ready to go and that's what I'm going to try to do so I'm going to talk to you guys about that and we'll see if it works I don't know if it'll work I've never done this before but we're going to try then just because it was fun to do I looked up some other stuff I found a square foot garden planner thing and it helps me to know how many, what the spacing is for turnips, what the spacing is for radishes, what the spacing is for beets, all of that stuff, what the spacing is. And I'm going to follow that. I'm going to, and I plant, got, I copied a couple of the extras off. And so... If you want to know how to do uh, how many to plant per square foot, I can talk to you about it in future episodes. But I found that just planning ahead. In addition, I found that I really enjoyed making vinegar. It turned out really nice. So I think I'm going to expand a little bit. So I got another jar to make vinegar in. Now this is actually like a cookie jar, but the lid is loose to let air in and out, but it's tight enough to keep bugs out of my vinegar processing solution. I'm even going to make some vinegar out of blueberries. I might even make some vinegar out of strawberries any fruit you can make vinegar from not just apples and don't you think that blueberry vinegar would taste so good with some spinach and some feta cheese and maybe a little few walnuts on there mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna give it a shot gonna give it a shot I'm growing blueberries but my blueberry tr bushes are about this big <laughs> We'll see if I get enough eventually to make my own blueberry uh, vinegar from my own blueberries. We'll see. I hope so. But people, in January, it's planning time. Planning. Get your stuff ready to go. Plan your garden. I mean, for heaven's sakes, it's snowy out there. You're not going out in the garden right now. Might as well do some gardening in the house. That's the planning. So, I want to encourage you to be enthusiastic about planning your garden in January. And if you need some more information about it, about when to plant in your area, do some research for your area, like I did. I'm in 
zone six. I don't know what zone you're in. Some people can plant year round. I can't. Right now it's there's snow on the ground and they're predicting that we might get some snow tonight. Who knows? But I want you to be enthusiastic and look for planning ahead for next season. It'll be here before we know it. Yay! Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.